Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you, in my opinion, the most powerful build in Cyberpunk. This is the Netrunner build that uses quick hacks and focuses on intelligence. What you do is quite easy, you just kill everything and anything within seconds. And I will show you some footage to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So, I can already hear you asking, how do you become such a powerful all-killing monster? Well, my friend, I'm going to exactly tell you all the quick hacks that I use and all the perks. I'll start off with talking about how you approach enemies. So, usually you want first to use the breach protocol to get ice pick and mass vulnerability off. These are very useful effects that can reduce the ram cost of your quick hacks and make them do more damage against your enemies. If there are also turrets in the area, they become friendly and work for you after using Breach Protocol. Sometimes Breach Protocol will not be available and that's perfectly fine because you then just go to step 2. Then you want to use ping to reveal all enemies while being covered so you do not get killed easily. And after that you start your actual damaging hacks like uh, Contagion, Overheat, Synapse Burnout, etc etc. That's pretty much all it is, it's really an easy sequence of actions. So next off are the actual quick hacks that you want to use. I will discuss the most optimal quick hacks to use for this Netrunner build as well as how to use them. As you can see I have all the quick hacks I use in legendary tier as indicated by the orange color. These are the most powerful variations of the quick hack. I also have the ultimate quick hacks which are very powerful quick hacks that are nice and fun to use. If you don't have them yet then I got you covered because I recently made two short to the point guides regarding how you can get all these quick hacks very easily and fast. Check those guides out if you're interested, I will put the links in the description. I do recommend to get your quick hacks to legendary tier as soon as possible, as the added effects and increased damage or duration is very useful. So now onto the quick hacks you want to actually run with this build. For the hacks you definitely want to have ping and contagion, as they are the most powerful hacks in this build. Ping makes it so you can get the locations of all enemies and attack them through walls and other obstacles. This is extremely overpowered as it's not possible to be hit or shot when hiding behind an obstacle, while you can kill everyone safely as you know their exact locations. Contagion is overpowered damage and spreads to all enemies in the area. Contagion can also crit, which can one shot people sometimes, as you can see in this footage. After having Contagion and uh, Ping you want to take Synapse Burnout and Short Circuit. These are both powerful singular target quick hacks that can one shot enemies. Cinna Burnout does a lot of damage against humans, while Short Circuit will one-shot everything electronic, such as robots, soldiers and mechs. With the Netwatch Netrunner Cyberdeck, these singular targeted quick hacks become AoE instant kills, as they will damage up to 3 people in the same area, which makes them even more OP. Oh by the way, while we're on the subject of Cyberdecks, I use the Netwatch Netrunner Cyberdeck purely because it gives me the most damage with this build and has the nice effect of applying hacks to 3 people at the same time. I made a video about Cyberdecks actually, so check that out if you want Want to know more about which ones are the best for your situation specifically. I'll put the link of that in the description as well. So back to the hacks. The last two hacks are really up to preference. So I rotate mainly between suicide, overheat, detonate grenade and cyberpsychosis basically. Cyberpsychosis is a bit of a slow quick hack because it takes some time before uh, enemies kill each other. But it's definitely a lot of fun to make enemies fight each other instead of you doing all the work. So that's pretty also the reason why I take it. And Suicide is an instant kill and has a unique funny animation. Who does not want to see that, right? Am I right guys? And Detonate Grenade is like Suicide, but AoE, so even more fun. However, you can't always trigger Detonate Grenade, as sometimes the enemy will not have a grenade. And in other cases they might only have a useless flashbang that will not do really much. It's definitely a lot of fun to use though. 
And overheat is a nice damage hack that staggers your enemy, so a great hack with great crowd control that I also like to use. Burning your enemies is always fun of course. Regarding the other hacks, I find them mostly situational and don't use them as much. Some of them are blatantly useless even, such as the uh, backup request one, which I also never use. But some can be nice, for example the uh, cyber realm malfunction one can be very useful when fighting against netrunners or doing these cyber psychosis missions. Most of these quick hacks are basically some form of crowd control, but in my opinion they aren't really needed when you just kill everyone within a second, literally. So just stick to the main hacks and you will be extremely powerful anyways. So when you go to the skills system you definitely want to get intelligence to 20. Intelligence is pretty much everything you need for a quick hacker slash netrunner build and it has all the perks that are useful or enhance your hacking in some way or another. So definitely go to intelligence get it level 20 as fast as possible of course. And then when you are in intelligence, you want to do basically the following. And I will go over most of these perks, starting out with perks that are essential and then and then gradually going to perks that are not as, that essential or are pretty useless or whatever. So we will I will show you what perks are definitely definitely uh, great for this build. So So when you go to quick hacking, I will start off with quick hacking. Uh, you definitely want to get bloodware because quick hacks deal 30% more damage. That's that's a 30% more uh, damage for free, basically. You invest your perk points, obviously, but but you don't have to do anything. You just apply the quick hack and they will deal 30% more damage. So that's uh, essentially a very good perk for your Netrunner build. Get three points into this and you will have more damage. As simple as that. Bios energy is very good for your RAM recovery. So also get three points in this, uh, just because you want to have RAM at all points of the uh, at all points during a battle. And when you run out of RAM and you can't do anything as a hacker, that's probably one of the worst things to happen to you um, in the uh, Netrunner build. So definitely you get three perk points into this. Then uh, Forget Me Not is a very good one as well. Every time you kill someone, one RAM unit is recovered. So another perk to make sure that you do not run out of uh, RAM. So the next one you want is Subliminal Message. Subliminal Message is in my opinion one of the best perks in the entire intelligence tab. What it does is it deals double damage to unaware targets. Double, so that's a lot of damage. And you do want to get this one as fast as possible. Two perk points for uh, getting maximum uh, increase in damage. And unaware targets, they are very easy to find because essentially everyone is an unaware target when you start fighting due to the fact that you can apply your quick hacks from a very very big distance so this perk will proc in a lot of uh, in a lot of the cases and deal double damage so that's another two perk points for a hundred percent increase in damage definitely get this then you want to go to plague plague is a quick hack that makes your quick hack spread to three additional targets and you want this one as well because perks like contagion now suddenly apply to everyone in the field essentially because contagion will spread to three additional targets so you get three points into this for the maximum number of additional jumps and you will see how fast you will be killing everyone then you want to go to critical error and this is in my opinion one of the best perks in this entire section and why you ask me because it makes your hacks be able to crit and crit is such an increase in damage that you do definitely want to have this. And the crit that is applied to the enemy uh, is based on your crit chance and crit damage. So try to get some armor with those uh, or some uh, modifiers. Apply some mods on your clothes or whatever you're wearing that uh, give you an increase in crit chance or crit damage. And then you will see in fact that even a hex like a Contagion will crit the one that spreads and uh, applies damage over time, it will crit and one-shot people. So definitely, definitely get critical error. And the best thing about critical error is actually that it's only one perk point. So for one perk point, you have such a huge boost to your damage output and your entire build that you can just not uh, omit this one from your uh, build. Next thing is signal support. This one is good for uh, quick hacks that have a duration like overheat, contagion, etc, etc. Get to, just just get two points into this, and you will uh, and your poison will even be applied for a longer time. Your burns will apply for a longer time. It's just more damage and all the benefits that come from having your hacks on the enemies uh, for a longer period of time. So yeah, signal support definitely get that. And then we go over to diffusion, and diffusion is also very powerful. It's only one 
perk point again and it makes it so that your quick head spreads in distance by two times definitely get that one as well only one perk point and then uh, when you get to the later stages of your build you can get things like uh optimization and no um, i don't know how to say this mnemonic or mnemonic or whatever it is these are just uh things that reduce the cost of your quick hex and they both only require one perk point but i will just get these to in a uh, later stage of your build because they're not essential as, as all the others that I just discussed with you. And then finally, uh, I have also Bartmos Legacy. This is the crafting spec for the legendary quick hacks. If you're not able to get legendary quick hacks with the uh, methods not involving crafting, then you take Bartmos Legacy and you just craft them. Just took this because it was easy and fast, so yeah. Then uh, some other perks like this one, Hacker's Manual. I do not recommend investing into this. Uncommon quick hacks are very easy to get. Same thing for the uh, the rare one. This one, School of Hard Hacks. Uh, skip that. I Spy, don't do that. It, it, it's, it's just pointless. It's not, it does nothing. And then uh, Weak Link. Also, do not invest points into this. It, it reduces the required cyberdeck RAM for uh, quick hacks used on devices by one unit, but it's only for devices. And I see in a lot of times, if I like want to explode a camera or whatever, it's already one RAM. So in a lot of the times, this will do nothing for you. Then go to breach protocol. And here you want to take uh, mass vulnerability as well as uh, mass vulnerability resistance as well as uh, turret tamer. These are just all things that give you an additional demon when you are uh, breaching the protocol. For, with mass vulnerability, your hacks will actually do more damage against them. And with turret tamer, this is also a very fun one because every time you go to an area with turrets, they will automatically become friendly for you. Now you have an entire area full of turrets that are working for you instead of against you. So definitely get that one as well. And then, um, so this, these two are optional. I just took advanced data mine for getting uh, more money for free, basically, because the access points are so easy to crack, in my opinion. I have also a guide with uh, cracking all sequences every single time. Uh, it's on my channel, and I'll put the link for that video as well in the description. So check that out as well. And then data mine for also is for uh, getting quick hacks by access points. I actually use this a lot to get all the ultimate quick hacks. This is also the perk that I used in my uh, other video, how to get ultimate quick hacks. It's a very, very powerful one because you can get all the quick hacks very fast and very easy. Yeah, and then you have a uh, head start, extended network interface, and um, where's the third one? There's another one. Oh yeah, compression. So compression, a head start, and extended network interface. These are just mainly to making access points so easy that you cannot uh, possibly fail them. So get these if you are having difficulties with access points, or if you're just not in the mood to do the access points thingies uh, every time with a lot of effort or whatever. It's the same with uh, the breach protocols. This applies to all the things that um, involve the hacking mini game. So yeah, just get those if you are in need for basically getting your access points and breach protocols done faster and easier. And then you also want this one, mass vulnerability quick hacks. This is again, more damage. More damage, always good. Take it, it's only one perk point, just take it. I took this one uh, turret shutdown because I was wondering what it is, but you don't really need it when you have turret tamer. So just get turret tamer and skip this one. And then you have cloud cache, cloud cache and uh, turtle recall. Just take these two if you're struggling with having a uh, RAM or if you're running out too quickly, just take those then in those cases. And buffer optimization, uh, I would actually not recommend getting this um, because uh, mass vulnerability and all the other ones are at least applied for three minutes. And in three minutes, it, that's plenty of time to just kill everyone. So yeah, just take it if you think three minutes is too uh, too short. Only then take it. So that's basically what I recommend for the uh, for these um, tabs for the intelligence. And after you get level twenty intelligence, you can do whatever you want. If you want to have the most optimal build, then you invest it in cool until you get eighteen, because you want to have this perk uh, called neurotoxin. Neurotoxin makes it so that your poison damage is doubled. So contagion, the quick hack, now is going to mass murder everything because the damage is doubled. So it, it's an instant kill for everything. Take this if you want to have the most optimal, most powerful build in the game. But if you want to have more fun or whatever, you can just do whatever and uh, take uh, the Cold Blood uh, related perks. Cold Blood is nice to have and you can also uh, get things like uh, Quick Transfer, which uh, synergizes with your uh, Netrunner build because your Quick Hack upload time will be um, reduced by 2% per stack of Cold Blood. 
so this helps uh and it's also fun you know you have some synergy with your netrunner build and uh yeah but from this tab i would actually just recommend neurotoxin as a must have and the rest are just because if you like it or if you want it for fun you can also invest in body if you want to uh, use melee weapons as well or if you want uh, guns you just invest in the reflexes it does not matter as much just get intelligence to 20 and then if you want the most optimal build get cool but if you want to have more fun or whatever, or you like melee weapons or normal weapons, then just take reflexes or body or even technical ability. It just really depends on what you give the most priority to. So now that I've discussed all the uh, perks and which one you need to take and which one you should avoid, you, you really now have all the information for this build to work. As you could see from the footage, it's really easy to apply. It's really easy to do and it's so overpowered. It's crazy. I'm playing on very hard and I'm literally killing everyone just uh, by one contagion spread in combination with ping. And then if there are enemies left, I just apply a synapse burnout or a short circuit and boom, they are that and even if if all that uh, and they're still not dead i still have uh, suicide i still have detonate grenade i still have even overheat you know essentially you you cannot go wrong with this build and it's also very fun so definitely try it out if you're not familiar with hacking or net running and if you have any other comments or just things in general about this build or questions also obviously leave a comment i'll try to answer it and uh, if you like this video and this guide then uh, please leave a like and uh, consider subscribing uh, those two things help out a lot and uh, i really like it when my uh, subscriber number goes up because uh, it just motivates me to make more of these uh, guides for helping out everyone and uh, it's always fun to make guides so yeah hopefully you enjoyed and uh, see you guys next time